What's goody, what's goody, what's goody, you know this is your boy Andy Appleseed. Andy Appleseed TV is the name of the channel. Make sure you like, share your boy with a comment. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button one time. We got the latest and greatest hip-hop news on these YouTube streets. Let's get it in, let's go. Welcome back to Andy Appleseed TV. Make sure you smack that like button on your way in. Let's jump straight into this live reaction by Queen Vaughn, aka Asian Door. Seems like she had words for Myron from Fresh and Fit Podcast. We all know Fresh and Fit Podcast is now canceled. It seems like Myron was called out for having too many misogynistic ways. Asian Doll was a guest on that podcast and she actually got kicked out. She said when she was kicked out of this podcast, this was at a time in her life when she was very depressed, fresh after King Von had passed away. But it seems Asian Doll just got a lick back. She just called out Myron on social media. Now allegedly she has a few pictures of Myron. He might be part of the LGBTQ community. Who really knows? We're gonna let Asian Asian Doll tell it, and for those who's not really familiar with Myron, he was a super alpha male who gave women advice, mainly bad advice on how to keep a high value man. It's kind of crazy, but let's jump straight into this live reaction by Asian Doll. She actually told a real story of what went down after that podcast. Now, a lot of people just saw that episode and it cut, but she said she was waiting outside, things got real. Now, these photos could be Photoshop, but I don't really know. It might be a leak from OnlyFans, but ladies news hit that social, race to 25k subs. If you're new here, hit that sub, hit that like. Let's go get on the internet talking about all day long bro and whole time bro you been you been since flipper ground days i was in high school i was in high school we used to be doing we used to be putting flipper ground on our pictures to make ourselves look thick back y'all remember i know y'all remember y'all remember putting y'all pictures on flipper ground to post on instagram to make we all look short and thick that's what happened these pictures is from flipper ground days so in your heart your soul bro you knew you like you knew that. You are putting on a persona. I want a wife. My wife got to cook clean. She can't come outside. She got to she have a body count lower than four. She can't do this and that. And the whole time, you really get ran on you by Yo, bro. It needs to be these. I don't know. How do I, it take me through this? How it take me to put this together? Out of, out, everybody, it took me to get this out the office gotta go back to these pictures a pillow covering his cleavage like you really out here really playing on podcasts to talking about i know a lot of that you see in hold ain't never got a train ran on them you out here telling me, no man wants you you want to know why no man you you, you think no man wants them because you want all them i ain't no hoe never will be one thing about me it was a train to call me a hoe everybody know what's up I ain't never been a hoe. I ain't even never have a whole reputation at school. So when people call say that to me, it go in one or out the other one. I'm a lit that decided to make some stupid decisions. Probably twice. Never a lot of the wrong bad decisions when it comes to and dating and like that. That's real. Why, why are you worrying about who finds me attractive or who wants to me or who? Why do that matter? This is why you don't need to like. I feel like people who visualize other people's sex life, sex life is sick. Like, I feel like for you to care about who that woman and who finds her attractive or what is doing for her or buying her what, I feel like you want to that person. He could never be talking about me. That's why we need, that's why when a question came around, when they was asking the questions like, oh, who you, what type of guy do you see in your, for yourself? Money. He has to take care of me. He has to respect me. He has to love me. This don't interrupt this whole, mind you, all these hoes are saying what they have to say. When they get to this bad girl. He interrupts her and say, you're a stripper, though. That's why I said, damn. In the video, I'm going to play it. I said, damn. He made it seem like I said, damn, because he said, oh, who? I don't even know who she is saying about me. Like, oh, I don't even know who Asian is. I don't know who she is. Who is she? And they, they edited it to where said, I said, damn. The whole time, I said, damn, because I sat down and I heard the tell this lady, basically, in, in his own words, you're not, you're not worthy of a nigga that will ever take care of you because you're a side eye him. I didn't know this man with this long beak on his face. I didn't know about him. I don't know podcasts. I don't play like that with no podcasts. But one thing about it, he he he, he would always lie to y'all. That man went in that room and did what I don't know what he was in that room. He never came out that room. I damn near tore up his whole house. And the reason why I didn't is because I did not want to have another moment on Instagram. I had I've been I had been viral for weeks and months after the shit happened with Vaughn. I didn't want another viral moment, bro. And I really can say that from the bottom of my heart. 
And I'm so glad that I that I reacted the way I did in that podcast because on my soul, I could have really acted a different way. I could have really showed my pain that I was going through and I could have really showed some people something. Like, y'all really trying to set me up, try to get me, knowing I'm going through something, get me here, get me out of my comfort zone and disrespect me in front of the world to see. I could have really got out my body for y'all. But I had real in the building that would have popped each one of y'all head like cherries and I would have sat there because I was dealing with, I would have never cared. I didn't care. But you know what? I just listened to my first mind and I said, I'm going to really calmly do this. And I calmly did what I, and I said what I'd say. And when them cameras went off, we was waiting on the down. We didn't, we didn't just up and leave his house. What the f- we look like? We stayed there until I wanted to leave. I said everything I had to say. I had everybody in there scared. Because a f- like me was talking her talk. I really made sense when I was saying what I had to say. And I had 15 behind me in the any would have said anything to me without with them cameras off it would have been lit yeah i don't understand about why they be mad about what they can do i don't give a at the end of the day be who you are don't get on her talking to i don't give a about what y'all are talking about you can flip it switch it twist it i said what i said i bet I'm talking about one i'm not talking about a whole pe- the whole a lot of people i'm talking about one person that's what i was saying the podcast is made for men to go watch that degrades women to fulfill their needs, to make them feel good. Like, what the f- Y'all just sitting around. That's what y'all conversation is. Like, y'all sitting around asking each other this sh- She was explaining to me what was going on. And he kept interrupting her. Like, yo, stop having side conversations. Who the f- Who the f- have a podcast, invites a f- person, and literally don't explain to her how this sh- go. So when the person next to me starts explaining, you tell her to shut the f- up. But when I got up, I said, don't ever let no f- talk to you like I wanted to say more, but it wasn't my place. I was worried about long nose with the beak. I was worried about that. So that's why I had, they, when they cut the cameras off, it got lit. He know it. And he didn't come out the room. And he didn't say nothing. And I was in his crib talking crazy. I didn't want the audience to see that on the podcast because I didn't want to look like a crazy person. Again, I had already been crazy the whole two months. I was crazy. Like, I was viral for being crazy. It was like a lot of. I can't even name the that was going on with me. But it was just like, oh, she's crazy. It was like a, it was like a trend. Saying I had lost my mind. So why the I go on this people podcast and rip up all that and go crazy on camera and make myself look even crazier? So I just didn't do it. Once the turned the camera off from rubbing him, when he turned that camera off, it got lit for him. He didn't say nothing. He didn't disrespect me. He didn't come out the room. And I talked to crazy. And I want to thank you very much for watching. It's your boy Andy Appleseed. Andy Appleseed TV is the name of the channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe, drop me a comment. We got the latest and greatest hip hop news commentary by your boy Andy Appleseed. It's going down. Live stream edits, you name it. Hit that like, catch me in the next video. Peace.